Good morning. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do my Aries. We're gonna do my Aries. The story continues. Okay. I feel like, I feel like my voice is different. Okay. All right. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We got Lucy right there, so you might hear her. You might hear her breathing. I burnt incense on that one day. Six of coin wanted to come out. It's I'm starting to realize and, and notice <laughs> um you know how like you can have a snag in a sweater or uh something in your shoe, like a you know, what do you call that when you have like a, a mark or you scuff it or it's like, I got the goosebumps. It's like instant, like, recall. So I don't know if that's regarding you. But I actually, I got this blanket a couple years ago. Um, actually, two years ago for Christmas, three years ago. I've had it for a while. And that was probably a few months right after I got it. I uh, dropped an incense right on it. So, incense thick. And it was strawberry because it smelled like strawberry for a while even after I washed it, okay? So, I don't know if you guys just have a memory thing like that because, I mean, I know I talk about random stuff, but the fact that that came up, you know, I don't know. But anywho, the story continues. Alright, it's going to be Aries. It's going to be January 2020, the rest of January. So, let's see what we get. You're definitely on point. I definitely feel discipline. Um, oh, Jesus. That side, that song, Suicidal, just came to me. Um, and it's, I don't feel, oh, man. Okay, let's just see what type of message that is. Because there's, there's one that's new on the radio that I'm not crazy about. And then there's... Um, a reggae one, which is talking about the same thing, but taking it to different levels, okay? So, one's more, I don't know, how would I live without you? Whoa, Jesus. Okay, here we go. I, whoa, there's got to be, okay. Let me just step out of this, because... I'm hoping it's just heartache, I guess, is what I'm aiming for. So let's just see what we get, Aries 2020. So, we got the fear ones. I don't read these reverse, but I did notice it was. Okay. Um, you got you got some tools. You're you're rebuilding your future as we speak. Um, I know it's the three of wands, but it's you actually you're rebuilding for a new start. So, I don't know if there's somebody in your life, you left someone in your life. You could be building a home, you could be a contractor, you could be looking for rentals, property in general, it, it could be in a different state or a different country, but because what I'm getting from music, is, to me, is restructuring your, your life, but... I'm talking major, like a new phase of your life, not just, hey, I'm a new me. Like, no. No, it's, it's pretty big. It's a big deal. Make sure you add some color or make sure you're around color, please. You got the Queen of Pence. 
she sat in another reed in the same position. She was pretty quiet then too. She's very quiet. She's definitely a nurturer. I just heard Lucy, I'm home. Like Lucy and Ricardo. So or oh Wally, what's that? Meet the Beavers. It, it's almost like <clears throat> it's almost like um like dinners on the table like but structured. Okay. <laughs> Have fun with that guys. I, I hope you like structure in your life. You know. Oh man, I really need to be like ugh. I mean, okay, you're just going to leave me out of this. That's how structured, okay? I, I guess that's why I guess I felt disciplined because very structured, very routine. Um, I don't think your new life's going to be anything like that. So I don't know if there's a little fear behind that. I'm not feeling like chaos, but like if you live a very structured life, um, not anymore, well, you will, okay? So don't don't panic and be like, oh, what is she talking about? Like, it's just more or less like, yeah, yeah, I have supper on the table or whatnot. Somebody takes care of situation. Like, it, that's not what I'm saying. Like, so I, I wonder if I'm talking family structure. But like, as a ma, you can have some calm days. You can have some chaotic days. It, it just depends on the age of the children, what you do for work, when you get home, how you're feeling, what your energy is like, you know? But like, to me, like, Wally, leave it to Beaver, whatever. Like, it's almost, she's a stay-at-home ma, you know, so she manages pretty well. Maybe the masculine's very structured. I mean, you are a Aries if you're an Aries masculine watching, you know what I mean? You guys do work very well with structured events, you know. I mean, you can come home and this one could be like, meditating with a do not disturb sign <laughs> or in the tub and and you know he comes home hungry and I don't really see her being like there's leftovers in the fridge it's, it's not like that it's just you guys's energy has got to be way different even if you're a meditator she's more like Wusa. like chill out chill out I had the monkeys all day <laughs> you know what I mean like everything needs to be done but I I, I don't see chaos so don't worry. I don't know if you're missing someone, you know, or if you realize this is someone you're going to be with your entire life. I mean, you're getting a lot of freaking messages. Because I go back to how could I live without you? And then the other one that came to me was to the end of the road from boys to men, but I didn't, I didn't say it because it's just like, I didn't want to stay focused on that energy. But to me, it's more like love life. I think you'd definitely be marrying somebody, you know, within the next three years. Not because that's a three, it's just you're building your foundation, right? 2020 to four is you're building something solid. You might be living with somebody real soon. This could be a move. Well, she's deciding whether or not she's moving. You might have to, um, you might be renovating, cleaning out the attic, just cleaning house. You know what I mean? Now you got another three, which is the three of pens. So teamwork, collaboration, something in the future. This is a project for sure. As I'm talking about renovation, that's a project. Home renovation. It could be linked to work. She would be a terrific worker. She could also be very structured too. But she's very, she's very woo sad too. When she needs to get work done, she'll get it done. There's no question. You're coming in. I think you guys are coming in more as the the fresh start than you are this one. So you, you have justice too with the Eight of Swords. So legally you might already be obligated. I don't know if there's a third party or not. This looks like a that would be a, a, a marriage contract. Um, there could be something traditional going on here. If this is linked to work, you're going to want to legalize something. Be careful. Make sure your documents, your work is legal. Make sure you look into the right type of lawyers. 
Maybe this is what the structure is about. Maybe, it, maybe it's a little chaotic. Maybe you're doing a lot on your own and you need some relief. Should should be good at that. Because I feel an energy here. It doesn't have to be masculine or fem feminine. It's just that's somebody. And it could be you guys, right? But it could be a contract involved. Like I said, building a house, relocating, travel and work. If this has anything to do with the court. Um, looks like something will go in your favor with all these cards, as long as you, you're speaking the truth. But if you're signing contracts or thinking about pursuing another career, because this would be brand a brand new career, you might want to consider having a lawyer look over some stuff. Or you've already prepared something and now you're in the process of having it legalized or you could eventually want to pass some type of law um, Aries Aries you could be dealing with a Libra I haven't done Libra yet so I guess I'll do that next I've been feeling Capricorn though, so I'll have to surprise you. I'll have to see what, what comes out with this really, what type of energy that is. Aries, Aries, I almost said, I don't know, and then I almost said berries. But I know it's like a rhymey, you be rhyming all the timey. Jeez Louise. You might be wanting to work with animals. I just I just see animals there. This could be like a, a wildlife rescue fund. Um got the king of pence here. So this would whatever this is with you and this person is it's definitely long term. Like I said, like I, I believe I said it and not just felt it. But husband and wife type energy, right? Um, you do have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there is there is love. I wonder if you guys are separated by distance. Or you're about to be legally separated and you're going your new way. And it's, it's hard. Because those songs, how do I live without you? Or you just, there's somebody at a distance and you just know that... We belong together. That's the second time this week Mariah has come out of my mouth. And it's been the same song. But it's like, where's the action? The Three of Wands does speak of, of energy, right? So the energy is definitely flowing, but I don't see action yet. I don't see karma. Not like that. We belong together. So it's almost like you're not together. Or you, you split up. There's something there. Alright, let's bring it together. Tell me about the three of wands. Three of Wands, Three of Wands. This is something brand new and it involves the two of you. It looks like a move, a contract. You get the star reverse. So somebody is feeling a, a lack of hope. Restless. Well, okay, hold on. I just got a different message and I totally lost it. Um, it 
It's almost like you can't create where you're at right now. You gotta step out of it in order to create. It's it's following destiny too, right? But like someone's struggling when it comes to creating. And those are total mom boobs. Just saying. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm calling it out. Like those are total natural mom boobs. You can just tell. I mean if you were to get a lift, but like I don't guys, I don't know where that came from. Maybe it's just like an, an added message for you. I don't I don't see those being fake. I, I don't I pff, what the frig? But when this came out, remember it was reversed. But I don't read them reverse, but I caught my eye caught that. So I feel like you're struggling right now. Like, you're having a hard time creating something together. It, it, but it's like you got a brand new life here. And it, and it seems and looks to be together. So I think somebody is in, uh, like, struggling to create. Someone needs to get out of their location. Like, where you're located is not working for you. Like, it's almost like a move is necessary for you to create. And I, I hate saying it like that. It, it's like someone's been stuck in the energy. So the, the energy that this person's in... Okay, I, I don't know feminine, masculine, I, I don't know. I knew it was an energy. And there's an energy on the card, right? That speaks of Aquarius, but the depiction also speaks of a feminine. But it's almost like she's reaching for this. Reaching for the stars. But it's almost like so close but so far away. So I don't know if that's speaking of distance. I just think someone's struggling right now on creating. But if that's the case, don't don't look at it like that. You got a fresh, you got something really fresh is, is here. Tell me about this Queen of Pence. Got the Ten of Pence reversed with the Knight of Swords reversed. Someone's not talking to someone. So this this could be a husband and wife going through like the court system. It's regarding family and money. So this is not future husband and wife. This is future ex-husband, future ex-wife. But I feel like you're longing for someone else. That had to have been an altercation. That you met someone from a distance. There's something. Online, dating, I don't know. Tell me about the fool. So I still feel a brand new life. Okay. Yeah. It, it could be mental clarity too. Um, I think you spoke the truth. You could have been dealing with um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The, but this is conversation. This is, you gotta, this is a clear path. This is, is something so clear to you. Tell me about the three of pence. You see? So you got the hermit reversed.
maybe there's no that could be a lawyer or a doctor sometimes, but it's it's reversed. The the hermit is a is a I almost said a lover, but not obviously a lover, but somebody who searches for love. It is they use their soul to find contentment. They, they search. They won't settle for less. And then you got the five of cups. So I don't know if somebody's five of pence. I mean, yeah, so I don't know if you're you're missing someone or you're just feeling lonely, that there's, there's no comfort. And then you got the seven of wands reverse. So you're pretty vulnerable right now. You're not you're not really guided. Um, you're definitely missing someone, but these are two very powerful cards. So I'm feeling like it's like an Aquarian Virgo energy here somewhere in the mix. Someone has a lot of that in their chart. If this is a divorce, obviously, um, you could have tried counseling. But besides that, like, you are going to lose money. Is it really losing? You know, what's fair is fair as long as something's being done fairly. Tell me about you going John somewhere. Yeah, we're going walk and then you want to call? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to call, but all right. I'll see you when you get back. Tell me about justice. So it looks like something might be going through the court system unless you're dealing with a, a Virgo. I mean, a, a Libra. So yeah, you might be dealing with a Virgo. Because I, I just said we belong together. That song came to me again. So it looks like I'll be doing Virgo next. So yeah, you're stressed out. Something's getting the best of you. Someone might have a lot of Libra in their chart. I also feel like this might be somebody sitting in a very vulnerable state right now. Stressed out. I mean, this could, she could still be your future. And there's just no, no communication. There's no, she's not nurturing nothing. She might got a family. You might be an air sign. And she might already have children. And you're like, mm, I don't know if I want children, if i okay with children. Looks like she has a family if she's future. But she wouldn't be putting any effort into this. And meanwhile, Lucy. We'll meanwhile, I don't know if you have a lot of Libra Virgo in your chart. Libra Virgo. You got the sun at the bottom of the deck. And then Sag with Temperance. So like... Because I feel like this is the court couple. Even if you were married or I'm married. Like these two we belong together so this is someone you're not talking to that's possibly at a distance that wants to create but it's, it's something's not happening um i don't know if it's because you're already in a legal contract so if that's the case the one that's married in a legal contract is a little stressed out but vulnerable open to the idea Tell me about the King of Pents. But I feel like you got a lot of strength right there. Like, whoa. Yes, Ten of Cups. Uh, there's, you just healed from a situation too. So you could possibly have a family too. This could be a blended situation. You both carry tens. You're both ready for a brand new cycle. A ten, a ten, brand new cycle. This did come out reverse when I saw it. And then when it fell, it came out upright. So... 
together, this is you two. You need a conversation. You need to communicate. Looks like looks like it will happen because if I take all this out of the equation, you have all the cards underneath that speak a really nice story. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Or this somebody sees that family. You know what I mean? I don't know if she's taking something personally. Like you don't want kids or whatever's going down with you guys. But maybe he's he's like, I do see it. I can see it. But maybe that, that factor stresses them out. The King of Pence is plenty capable of being a family man, a businessman. You know, he's got a lot of great qualities. And, you know, it, it's like this one energy is thinking about positivity, if that's the case. I, a couple cards just wanted to come out. I did see the Five of Cups, so if you ask me, this, it's almost like that Ten of Cups is actually meant to be reversed. But it is sitting upright. So, yeah, Queen of Wands. That had to have been another woman. Boy, this is just the way this propensity looks at the queen of pence. So maybe someone has a lot of Taurus in their chart, but right now is, is Sag energy. Their energy is flowing. It's almost like she's looking kind of, sort of, like she knows... She could be extremely spiritual. She, uh, The Queen of Wands is very intuitive. You got the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck reversed, so I don't see communication. You're not talking to this person. It looks like it's coming in. Are the opportunities here? This looks like a conversation. I mean, I just told a story. So it's like, where's the conversation? Three of Pence. It's coming. Someone already sees it happening. It's, an, it's a new cycle. It's a new contract. You're talking about it, which is right here, because someone misses someone, feeling lonely, left out. Because I definitely feel like those are, you know, different energies. You got the world. So one door closes for another one to open. You're going to be fine. That just got really tricky. Again, this could be some type of contract in another country. That's a communication card, too. Email, Google. I think this is work-related, but it also has to do with letting the past go. It definitely looks like the past is gone. Or obviously, well, lingering, but decisions were made. That's my twin card that wants to pop out with the strength right here. It's like you way too, so two different energies. So these are two people that we belong together. It's like they both know. They're both fruit, but not the, you know, one's an apple, one's an orange. They're both fruit, but not one's better than the other. They're still fruit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're different, but so what? I didn't see any differences here like that. So I, I, I one energy is just like so be it like it doesn't phase them oh yeah remember that whole structural thing and then I'm like you have an energy oh that's so funny now I now I remember I did I did say that one could be very structured disciplined the other one's like more like wusa you know um like that that type of situation ship okay so Aries, anything else you want them to know? January 2020, Aries, that's too many. Aries, Aries. <clears throat> Obedience, well, yeah, that's, that's all about discipline. 
All right, so let's see what it has to say. Okay, it says, what rules are you considering when you ask this question? You'll be sorry if you're going to break the rules that are in place to protect you and others. So that is some type of comic spiritual contract then, I guess. Even though you're not like an authority, right? Even though you might not like authority right now, it's time for you to obey what's already been in motion. This is a time to learn the lay of the land and to follow the custom to keep things in order. Learn from the steps of the dance before you attempt to change the suit. Wait, learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them to suit you. Yeah, see, you guys are mega different. Don't ever try to change anyone. Ever. But this is a strong karmic contract. There's force behind this. There's rules for everything. The sun rises and the moon sets. They dance together in perfect steps. That sounded like a chant. Damn. <laughs> Hope I didn't just freak anyone out. Normally, they don't ever sound like that. I can feel the power and force, guys. I'm not even kidding you. It's crazy. It's already set in motion. So if someone's resisting or trying to change a situation, you, you can't. So if there was a marriage and it's like, you don't want out, it, 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 you're out. This is crazy. So the, the, the universe already intervened in this scenario. It's going down. There are rules for everything. The sun rises and the moon sets. You could be dealing with a Leo Cancer. And they dance together in perfect steps. The Leo is the sun, Cancer is the moon. What rules are you considering when you ask a question? You will be sorry if you're going to break the rule that is in place to protect you and others. Whew. Okay. Even though you might not like authority right now, this is a time to obey what's already set in motion. This is a time to learn the lay of the land and to follow the customs that keep things in order. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them to suit you. Super powerful message. You can't change what's already been set into motion. This, this new stat's happening. So I don't know if you're trying to back out of a contract, but it's like, no, no, no. I don't even see fear. Oh, yeah, there was right here. There was fear. Something was scary. If you're blending a family, if someone has children... You guys are very different, but that's okay. I think someone's having a hard time with it, though, to be honest with you. Wow. Everything's going to fall into place. Uh, you know, it, it didn't look rough. I It didn't look smooth either. <laughs> um... This, like I said, I don't see... Remember I even said I don't see much here? Like, energy-wise? Like, the energy was here, but I didn't see much action. That That's... I don't know if someone's retracting. I'm not really sure. But, like, I knew it was here. Because that was the first one out. You get a beautiful reading today, guys. Extremely informative. Go with the flow. Don't try to change anyone. There's no need. Don't try to change your situation. Because it looks like something's being changed out of fear. And, and yeah, something could be scary. But work through it. Talk through it. Address it. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't express feelings. And, and then you get another one that's just like, I feel like this. I feel like that. But you're both feely-feely. Wow. All right. Well, until next time, the story continues. Love you guys. Bye.